1953, chemist Stanley Miller and his professor, Harold Urey, tried to figure out how life got started on Earth and came up with a groundbreaking experiment. The two of them came up with this idea that if you took a simple mixture of ammonia, hydrogen, methane, and put an electric spark through it to simulate lightning, that maybe you could make organic compounds that we associate with biology. It worked. Miller and Yuri cooked up amino acids, the building blocks of life. Years later, Miller passed on his lab equipment and research materials. Today, they're still shaking up the world of science. Just before uh, Stanley Miller died, I found out that some of the material that I'd uh, gotten from his laboratory were all these little boxes. And I realized from the nomenclature that was on it, the uh, page in his notebook, that these were all samples from his original experiments that he did in 1953. So he had preserved samples of this and had not told anyone. He hadn't told me, and I found out later he'd never even told his brother, who they were very close. This is his original writing, by the way. Now, for those of us that knew Stanley, I mean, we recognized his writing right away. By the time Banda discovered the dozens of small boxes, assembly of glass and tubes. his former professor was elderly and no longer able to communicate. It was up to Banda to figure out what the new materials represented. So you can see here in this uh, particular vial, there's just this little brownish uh, residue in the bottom of it. And, uh, that is uh, the residue from the water flask that he collected. And, and even though it's such a tiny little film in the bottom of this, uh, it's more than enough we need to analyze. In fact, when we first analyzed it, it, it blew our instruments off scale. There was so much stuff there. So we were able to go back and look at his original experiment, and we found that these experiments yielded far more uh, amino acids than he originally thought. There's a huge diversity of amino acids that we've never seen before in another experiment. In Bada's lab, Miller's experiment continues to unfold, with big revelations just around the corner. I got about 200 of these little boxes or so in the collection. And we're slowly working our way through these. And uh, we're on the verge of making a new announcement uh, in the next six months or so about a new aspect of this that we've discovered. So his, his experiment lives on over a half a century later. <laughs>